Hello and welcome to another DGCAD uh, Revit Building 8 A to Z lesson here. Um, we're in part 3, we're in lesson 19 which is our um, first of our phasing um, lessons here and we're talking about phasing and we're going to do kind of a general overview. We're not going to talk about um, phase filtering or the room tagging or tagging processes with phasing but we are uh, going to talk about uh, in general about phasing and then we'll talk specifically about phase filtering in a separate lesson. So phases are generally used to show or not show model objects at a specific stage in the project. So um, think of phases as there is a timeline involved in a phase in that when we go into our dialog box we'll see and we have an image down here that you can create phases and phases are created uh, with the factor of time being involved. It's like saying you cannot take phase three which was the end of the project and part way through turn it into phase one okay because your objects aren't going to know what to do so the nice thing is is you can take an object and, and change its phase anytime you want so you do have full flexibility you cannot reorder your phases but you can change the objects phase so then gives you that full flexibility so what happens in general here is we have a view in ADT or in Revit we have these wonderful views and we can duplicate them and duplicating a view is kind of like cloning it right it's like as if you are kind of linking uh, one view to another and then if you duplicate that view without detail then objects show back and forth so phasing and views and duplicating of views are working hand in hand um, if, if you you must be duplicating your views um, to uh, get the full potential of uh, using Revit phases. So what happens is you have a view and the view has a current phase and that phase objects that get drawn when you draw objects or elements and I'll use that term synonymously here elements and objects when you draw an object it looks to see what view it's in and what the phase is set to be at the time in that view so then that object knows the phase it was created in and then if and when that object ever gets demolished using the demolition tool it then records at that point what phase it was demolished in so the object knows the phase it was created in and it was the phase it was demolished in if it's created and demolished all in the same phase it's considered to be a temporary object as far as a descriptor goes um, this will depend on the phase of view it's created in then what you do is that's fine and, and working and then we take that view we duplicate the view we rename it and we change the phase we move it to the next phase phase two or phase three then we choose to see the objects of the previous phases and how to show them with the phase filter so then we have this view and we've maybe added some objects in here which would be in the next phase and we can go back and work in the different like this view is back in phase one maybe this view is in phase two we duplicate it again in phase three and at each level you can decide how you want to see the previous phase and then the objects themselves you can click on this object in here and say okay no you are not on you know phase one you're on phase three and all of a sudden it'll physically disappear from this view because it's not there yet this is still phase one okay inside of here and then if you change the object to be phase three all of a sudden it'll disappear from here and it'll show up down in your phase three view if you have one okay you because you can change it to a different phase and maybe you don't even have a view that's showing that phase which would really w would not make sense so your view has the phase the objects pick it up you duplicate the view you add more objects they take on the new phase over here phase created maybe you're going to demolish these guys from here once you get to this view and then they'll then these objects in here will say phase one created duplicated phase two demolished okay so it knows that and that's all we really need to understand right now annotations do not have phases um, we room tags do are associated there's some special uh, um, circumstances with uh, room tags which actually work through phases so they don't have a phase but they do work through phases and you can copy 
tags from phase to phase and it's interesting to see how they behave as walls will appear and reappear and when you schedule them it all works itself out quite nicely and we can use the filters option in Revit to um, exclude them when we go to do a mass selection so inevitably what will happen is you can grab a bunch of objects and like we did with our work sets you can grab a bunch of objects and say no you are you know on a different phase created you can go into the properties and change that but you won't be able to do that until you use your filters option so when you do mass selection remember to go up and use your filter option to filter through and say just the walls or just the doors or however you want the order of the phases cannot be changed we'll see that right down here in our diagram coming up okay um, phases are created based on a timeline you can combine phases with one another after the cre after you're created with the ones before and after but you cannot move them in their um, location as far as how we create them down in here objects will then take on the properties of the phase which with which they're combined. So further over here in our dialog box, you'll notice it has past and down here it would have future. And as we go in here and we say we start creating phases, what happens is we cannot just take phase three and move it up to here. Okay? Phase three is always going to be here. I can take phase three and hit the combine button and say combine with the one before and it'll combine it with this one and all these objects that are on phase three okay all these objects that were created on phase three if I combine them with phase two then they'll all their all their properties will say phase two and then this is just a descriptor over here so as we're creating these phases we make these phases current in the view and then when we draw in that view we probably want to say view level one phase one phase two phase three I would include my phase in the actual view name so I know by looking at the view name what phase it's going to be okay there's some samples there objects on existing on the existing phase will not show in the view that is set to the new construction so what we're talking about here is is objects will will not objects from that were drawn and created and have the property of being created on phase one will not show up in new construction and they will not show up in existing in any way okay likewise something that's created in phase three will not show up if you click on the object and change it to be phase two it'll show up in the phase two view but if you leave it as a phase three uh, wall and you go to a view that has phase two you will never see that because it's created in time that wall was created in the next phase so it will not show up there and there's no way so basically what you do is as you assign your views phases you say how far back you want to see and that's the whole point of you can see what's current and created in this view and then you can see the previous and what was demo, uh, demolished etc but you will not be able to look forward into this phase okay because this, this phase is in the future past and future okay um, use insert before or insert after to place a phase but you cannot change the order phases are applied to elements and controlled through the view exactly what we saw in our diagram phases are applied to the objects or elements and then controlled by the view because the view then uses um, as well filters to see that we'll see that again in our next lesson element phases can be changed at any time within the property so uh, you can change a walls phase you can select multiple objects and then element and then say phase created and then put it on phase demolished or you can say go to the phase demolished field and say none which will bring them back from being demolished okay we'll see that very clearly once we get in um, by default the phase filter and we'll get to that later is set to show all and all this does is that it will show the the past phases plus the current the current phase will be dark black heavy lines and then this um, phase filter will show previous um, objects on previous filters grayed out okay so that's basically how the the the, the um, phase filter we're going to be using in this lesson is just going to use that property past objects gray current objects of the new of the current 
phase will show dark. You can move it, delete or manipulate an object. So just because an object is grayed out and it's on a previous phase doesn't mean you can't move it. So it doesn't lock them down, okay? Between phases, if you can see it, you can move it or if you can highlight it, you can change it. So phasing is purely for visible. It doesn't stop you from editing them. So if you are in phase, let's go back up to here. You're in phase three and you can see all the way back to phase one. You can actually grab an object in phase one and move it or delete it or do whatever by default as far as phases are concerned anyway. So there's nothing stopping you from reaching back and actually editing an object if it actually is displayed, which is, um, depends on how the view is set up. Okay. Now what we should do of course is have a Revit template file which has all our phase and phase filters set up and ready to go on there. And then once you get in we'll see how this wonderful demolition tool works. And then what you do is when you apply this to an object it basically takes and it takes the object here and it, it, it populates this field for, for the object or the wall or the door which is phase demolished. If you, if you demolish a wall it demolishes the door and the window with it as well. So as soon as you hit it with the demolish hammer, it takes a look at whatever the current view is and it assigns that current view's phase okay, to the demolished property of the wall. Okay, Hopefully that makes some sense to you. So demolish, we'll see that quickly works. We really don't have to create a demolished phase because we can demolish an object and it just instantly shows up as being demolished right there. So we'll try that a couple of different ways. Um, default phase created is new construction and we're going to go in and change that. Views have two phase parameters, the current phase and the phase filter. So views have a phase and a phase filter and objects have a phase created and a phase um, demolished. Okay, We'll talk about this when we get a little bit more into, uh, into phase filtering. Okay, So now let's just pop over to our Revit here. And inside of here we just have you know standard uh, projects started up inside of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to create some, uh, some more views. So I'm going to go into level 1 here and I'm going to right click actually I'm going to make my filters first of course I'm going to, or my phases. I'm going to go into settings Okay, before I apply them to my views, and I'm going to go into phasing. Inside of phasing, I'm, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to take the new construction in this case, and I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to, okay, well, uh, then I can't delete it. I'm going to um, combine it with the previous, so it all becomes existing. Okay, you, uh, there you go. You can't delete a phase, you can only merge it with the phase before previous phase or the next phase. And now I'm going to go in, I'm going to say I, I want to add a phase after existing. And then I'm going to call this, I can just type in there and I'm going to call it, um, let's just say uh, for all intents and purposes, we'll just go phase one. Okay, and then I'm going to add another one. I think it's going to add phase two and then I'm going to say phase three. So in this particular case, my existing floor plan is going to show my demo. So I don't need, I don't even need a, a, a demo uh, phase. And then phase one is going to be maybe some um, central construction. So this is new construction on the existing building. So this is existing plus demo pretty much. Let's even put that in there. Existing and, and demo. And then this is new construction on that existing building. And then this is a completely different building. We'll say this is wing, west wing maybe. And this is the north wing. Okay. Now, I cannot, you know, take this one and drag it up and put it up over there. The only thing I can do with this is combine it with the previous. If I go down in here, I can say combine it with the previous or the next. And all objects, when I create them in with my views that were assigned this phase, will then move into there. So that's all you really do, all we need to do with our phasing. And look at this, past and future. So this is the whole thing is existing. And then all I'm going to do is go into here, and I'm going to go into here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say duplicate. This is the magic Revit command here, duplicate. And what it does is it's going to take objects that are shown and it's going to show the walls in both of those. Now I'm going to go into here and I'm going to just continue to duplicate. 
because that's my level one existing, my level one phase one, my level one phase two. We'll do one more and duplicate. And now I'm going to go ahead and do some renaming of my levels. Okay, so I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to rename and I'm going to go into here and I'm going to call this level one existing. And I'm also going to put numbers in here. Uh, this is a sorry this one was going to be my existing what I'm going to do here I'm just going to pause for a second I'm going to go in and rename these views and nothing else more than just renaming but to save some time on some typing Okay, and here I'm back, and all I've really done, of course, I've taken my level one, I right-clicked, and I did duplicate, 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 and all I've done is rename them up to this point. And notice I'm putting a zero, one, a two, and a three just for sorting. So this sorts in the order I want, and then one of them, they're all identical at this point, and one I renamed existing, one I renamed phase one, phase two, and phase three. So at this point, if I was to draw a wall in there, Okay, they would all be exactly the same because they're all showing me they were all duplicates of each other. Okay, now I'm going to click, I'm just going to delete that. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to right click on each one of these and set the phase, right? Remember, set the phase to the view. Properties. This guy, you are going to be phase existing. So that one's good. Okay, go into right here, right click, properties. I'm going to change this one and say no, you are phase one. You're going to show phase one, and objects created on that view will take on phase one. This one will take phase two. Properties. Okay, I'm not changing my actual level. By double clicking, I'm just changing the phase. Okay, there's my three phases. So, level, now I'm going to go into the, the first, and I'm just going to draw some walls. So, I'm going to go draw a wall here. I'm going to use my rectangle command maybe put that in there go and draw some more walls over here turn my chain on oh I don't want a rectangle I want a straight line nice and square maybe add some doors in there okay Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about the tags at this point. We'll talk about that a bit later. So the, the key is if I click on this object and I check the properties, it's going to tell me that it was phase created is existing. Phase demolished is none at this point. Okay, hasn't been demolished yet. So there's my more or less my phase one. Okay, now I'm going to go into my phase two. Well, notice it, it it's a bit grayed out now. Okay, because this is showing me the stuff from the past and now I can go and draw some more walls in here so now what I'm gonna do is in phase two I'm gonna go in actually I'm gonna split this wall because I'm gonna my other wing is gonna come in over here so I'm actually gonna go in note that I can actually change this wall even though it's not in my phase okay and what I'm gonna do in this view in in my phase one view is I'm gonna use my demolition I'm gonna demolish that which means in the current now this one has if I check the properties of it it was created in existing phase demolished in phase one looks good hit escape now I'm gonna go draw some more walls so I say okay draw some more walls on here put those in maybe put another couple doors or some windows in here okay so it's showing my phase one and there now I'm gonna to go to my phase two boom phase two doesn't show demolished over there oh this wall needs to be fixed note that I can actually change that and I'm again it's in a it's in the previous um, I just need to extend that back there at the right point Don't worry about that so now now I'm in phase two so the both of this stuff is grayed out okay and now I can go draw some new objects well maybe I'm going to do some some demo or do something over here so I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna go in now and I'm just going to do a split for instance and maybe split that there and that's probably why I was getting that 
other piece there. Okay. Now I can take and now in phase two, I can go and I can demo this. Okay. Now I'm going to draw some new walls. They're going to show up darker first of all. Uh, maybe I'll go right to there. Okay, so now this is my phase two. Now I'm going to go to my phase three. Well, phase three shows everything. Okay, same type of thing. Now I'm going to say, oh, well, my phase three, I'm going to go in over here and I'm going to uh, split this and maybe demo this wall. So I'm going to split that, take it. Now I'm going to use my demo tool and I'll demo that. Then I can go and draw another, draw some more walls here. Okay, put some doors and windows in. Okay, so there's my existing floor plan. Okay, now I'm going to demo. Maybe I can go back here any point. See, so you know what? We are going to demo this stuff. Demo, demo. Okay, now this is showing up in blue because it's being and dashed because it's being demolished in the same phase that it's being created. Okay, and we can talk uh, when we get into our phase filtering on how that all uh, how we can do that so my in this particular case what I would do is I would probably do that demo over here okay notice it disappeared from here right I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna say no you know what I changed my mind you guys are not getting demoed in the first oh now notice I'm not getting my properties I have to go here again to my filter and say only the uh, walls and maybe the doors um, are going to be changed to be um, created on existing but demolished on phase one. Hit OK and watch what happens. They, they're OK here, but when we go to phase one, now they're demoed in phase one. So the object knows, and the key is if I right click on here and check my properties, okay, this view is set to be phase one, meaning that objects that are created are on phase one. Objects that are deleted on phase one are told to be showed up or phase or being deleted in in any phase are shown up as dash now when I go to here that wall though that stuff is gone and now I've got that demo wall and then when I go to this one that demo wall doesn't show up in here I can still go in at some point if I want and do do a trim of this okay I can still edit objects even though they're not necessarily in my phase okay and there's other ways of kind of locking out your objects but there's my phase three walls over there Okay, so what you can't do is you cannot go into your phasing inside of here and you cannot go and take this phase and move it. But what you can do is you can take this object if I want for some reason and pick those and I can change them to be on a different phase. I can say, okay, you are created on phase two. Hit okay, they're going to disappear. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, here they are. They're going to be in phase two. Now they're going to be in this phase but they're not going to be in this phase okay because I move them so I went on now I'm going to go to phase two I'm going to say okay grab these guys and say okay that's fine you're created on phase two but you're demolished in phase three hit okay go to phase three and there they are demolished in phase three so objects change their properties and they will follow the phasing so just get your phasing set out straight in the beginning and then draw on the apply the copy because these are all showing level one remember they're all showing the same level okay elevations are the same way okay when you go down into your elevations into say for instance our south elevation elevations are the same thing each view is, is you know we would want to say elevation phase south phase one phase two phase three now if I right click on this and I check the properties of that view I can see down inside of here in my properties that is, this elevation is showing only existing phase which was that first one that's this one up here which only has the smaller building okay I can change this and say no you, this view is showing all the way up to phase three now it's going to show everything right up to this level it's going to show the extents of this and it's also going to show this darker okay if you look can't really tell by the resolution here but this section here is a little bit heavier than the one beside it okay so and you can change all of that we'll talk all about phase filtering and how they're behaving what we really need to understand is first of all 
how the objects behave, how they get onto the phase they are, and how a view controls the phase, and how you duplicate the views. And then once you get your nice template set up with all these views inside of here, you right click, you, you check your properties, and then you draw objects. And if you happen to be on phase one, and I draw a new wall now, that wall is going to be on phase one. Which means that it's going to show up in phase one, it's going to show up in phase two, Okay. Now we can see, oh, we've got a conflict because here's some walls from phase two that went in. So I need to take this maybe and delete this. Maybe go back and do some sort of a trim here. Get rid of that. Oh, did the opposite. And one more time. Okay. And clean that up. Now I might want to go in and do something like that bring those together now this is again this is my phase th phase two stuff okay there's my phase one that I've been editing over there okay which is again a little darker than that stuff so objects on the right f um, phasing controlled by your layers and I'm sorry uh, controlled by not your layers your levels okay levels get the phase 